Hi everyone, welcome to another Greenleaf Terrain studio update on the Warhammer 40k table. I have the five last pieces that I was building and the only one that is not finished being built is the cathedral, but I am going to finish it today. I was just working on it till about 3 a.m. last night and I got burnt out, so... Um, I have two buildings off to the corner here. I will we'll turn and see them. So there's two buildings there. Those are the two uh, industrial type of buildings. And then we have the cathedral. And this is like, there are two buildings, but I built them to be uh, placed together um, to be one large building. So I'll, I'll zoom in on these, but it's uh, easier for me to show like this uh, for some things. I haven't uh, come in and like ruined a bunch of these pieces up. Uh, those ones are, are, fi are fully finished, so I need to actually come back and ruin these. I just put on the flying buttresses last night. I was using two types of templates that I made. Let's see if I'm on one film there. Okay, yeah. So I, I just made two templates out of foam core and then I cut them out of half inch foam uh, because the idea is that all these buildings are going to be made out of concrete with uh, uh, brass or steel type of reinforcements everywhere. So uh, the flying buttresses are going to be all concrete. So I have to come back in and like chip them up and break off pieces and everything, kind of like what these guys are. Um, and for all the windows, I also use the template. Um, people may say this size is a bit big or something, but I had a bigger size, it was way too big. I had two smaller sizes, and when it came to it, it was just, it's way too cramped, and building these buildings uh, at the smaller size window, I would have to do so much more cutting that it would have went out of... Uh, way out of the budget, so uh, gotta come to a happy medium with everything and so I will just zoom in and show you what's up with uh, all these different buildings. So I'm just gonna go for a little bit of a free hand here it's uh, easier for me to walk around and just move them all They're quite big. Uh, this one has two types of buttresses because this, uh, this side is where that back guy will connect. It'll be basically be... I can turn this one and then I have all the flooring in there and then this one something like whatever you want it to be like I don't know there's a little wall there or something so you can place them like that so looks like one large building and space in the middle or you can make put them closer or whatever doesn't really matter you can turn turn different walls and everything that was the idea for these guys and then I just have little uh plastic card rod in here. Um, after painting I will be coming in and putting broken glass in all the windows and everything so that's uh, I gotta do some modeling to build them up, paint them, and then I gotta do some modeling again to finish them off so that's what we got so far. A little bit of dirt scattered. Uh, I just used the same type of tile. I really like the look of uh, not the... I did the roads differently so I like the more uniform look for inside so I used the one inch tiles that I had cut and then those are two towers to the side there I just moved them for filming and this is going to be the front entrance so I'm going to have a, the big uh, eagle right here I have the doors I didn't remove the like the, I've already cut the doors so I'm going to have the doors uh, broken or something going on so you get a, a view right in there and the towers are going to sit up here with a bunch of flying buttresses and stuff. Obviously this one's not done. Same type of tiles all through here. The tiles will get up on the top here. And i got to build stairs uh, up to this top guy. There'll be big broken stained glass window in here. Uh, just normal broken windows in the other side parts. And generally uh, these walls are going to fall back. And this whole midsection is going to be all collapsed. So it gives a lot more playability than having all these high walls and, you know, it's hard to get your miniatures in there. And then it, you know, gives a little bit of narrative of this whole, maybe a, a Titan walker or something, just basically walk through the cathedral. Who knows? All right, I'm going to ruin up all these edges and stuff. There's a lot more cleanup that needs to be done with this building. Be better in the light. I was cutting off some of the light. Um, so this is the one larger manufactorum building. 
I don't know if it's easy to see, but I have individual rivets that I've cut out and put on these guys. I counted the one sidewall. It had 95 rivets, so I assume through the four buildings I've built so far, there's over 300 rivets. Uh, a piece of pipe with rivets on them, some pieces from the uh, uh, 40k Imperial sector set. There are some Pegasus Hobbies pieces. I have diamond plating going on for the uh, the flooring, the second and the third floors. Oh, it's hard to grab this building. And then the bottom floor I made more like a concrete flooring, so I used cork to break it up to make a broken concrete floor. I got some more windows and doors back here. There's a door on the inside there. There's some pipes coming through. <coughs> Then we got this piping going on back here. And this building is going to sit really close to the road, so it's got part of the road on it. And then a large crater in the corner. <coughs> Excuse me. And then there's the back. It's got uh, just lots of playability spots to put your miniatures. There's a, a pipe coming through the wall there. Connects to the other side there. Just some spots. You can still get your hand in here. All the uh, all the different uh, floors are held up um, with I beams and H beams, depending on what I had. And again, got some strip in here to break up the uh, monotonous of the concrete that'll be on the inside. And the outside, I did all the rivets again. Oh, and the uh, the buildings that the the two gothic buildings need to get all these bullet holes. I have bullet holes all in the uh, all in the buildings. So I managed to rearrange a couple things and get them all into the shot here. Just wanted to uh, kind of give a expanse of how you know these buildings are pretty large, but um, they give a lot of playability. And uh, there are 40k is getting to be some larger models, so. Some of those larger models will be able to get cover in this uh, on this board, and uh, when you only have like two stories, like this guy's only really two stories, he's not really as evocative as these other buildings. So I went up to it's only 12 inches to the uh, to the, to the to the to the tops of uh, any any of the given buildings, so it's not not any higher than a foot, so it's all right. So you can go to uh, greenleafterrain.com if you want to check out any of my products. You can email me at info at greenleafterrain.com if you want to get a custom quote on any pro projects, uh, terrain projects, or commission painting. Because I also commission paint. Um, please subscribe to my channel, and thanks for watching.